celebrating our 20k subscribers today for me i'm so grateful thank you so much for your support thank you 20,000 amazing subscribers that's a huge milestone okay thank you i'm so happy and i'm very grateful now let's celebrate that with this particular question we have on the board it's an easy one yes i know i don't want us to solve something difficult now today is celebration day celebration time eh, 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 eh. <laughs> don't mind me don't mind me so let's solve what we have on the board now when you look at this what can you see is actually easy so this question is under exponents. Let's go ahead and put them in the same base. That is the first thing we're supposed to do. So we have 2 to the power of square root of x is equal to 8. can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. Okay? So we have 2 raised to the power of square root of x is equal to 2. Now when you have a raised to the power of m and this is also raised to the power of n okay this can be expressed as a raised to the power of m times n okay so we are going to do that here so three times x will give us three x now whenever you are solving any question on that indices or exponents anytime you have the same base you equate your powers it means that the powers are equal so we can now write that root x is equal to 3x. Now, another thing, anytime you have square root of anything, to remove that square root, just square, okay? If you have cube root, to remove the cube root, just cube. So we are going to square both sides of this equation to remove this square root sign. So we are going to have square root of x squared, okay? is equal to 3x squared, okay? Now, this square is going to cancel this square root. So we have x is equal to, this two is, this square is for both 3 and x, okay? So it's going to be 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, and x to the power of 2, which is x squared. So let's bring this to the other side of the equation. So we have x, minus 9x squared is equal to 0. Now, what do they have in common? They have x, right? So let's factorize x out. Now, x divided by x will give us 1. 9x squared divided by x will give us 9x is equal to 0. Now, this simply means that x is equal to 0. So this becomes the first value of our x. Or 1 minus 9x is equal to 0. Okay? So if we continue solving, we have that we have established the first value of our x. Let's concentrate on this one now. Now, this one says that 1 minus 9x is equal to 0. Okay? So that means that 1 is equal to this week transfer to the other side to become 9x and since we are looking for the value of x let's divide both sides by 9 so that 9 can cancel out so we have divided by 9 divided by 9 so we have that the second value of x is going to be 1 over 9 so we have the first value of x to be 0 so these are the two values of x don't forget to subscribe and to turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this face. 